Okay, guys and girls. Jen Carve, demo flight. Again, appreciate you, Matt Minyard, Chris Santa Crochet, for sending me a, a wing to demo. It's uh, Monday afternoon. I think it's the uh, 12th or 11th. Got a tiny bit of wind to help me out, but not just like a whole lot. Okay, as you can see here, uh, off the ground, I had a little turbulence uh, right above the tree line between three and 400 foot. Uh, first time flying the carve, I was a little bit anxious and uh, nervous, but uh, the flight uh, actually overall went really well. Um, after about 500 foot or so, the, the air smoothed out significantly, and I took my time just kind of getting in the seat, making sure things were where they should be, uh, getting a feel for the glider. Uh, first thing I noticed was it was super responsive to any brake or, or control input, uh, similar to some of the other faster wings that I'd flown. Again, I'm coming from a McPara Colorado 25, and this is a Gen Car 22 uh, as I'm demoing. Um, Video is kind of boring, but just to walk you through, I was... My goal for the flight was just to get the feel for the wing, maybe do some steep turns, uh, nothing aggressive. Of course, I'm not an aggressive pilot, but I wanted to see what it was like. Uh, so here in the next couple of clips, I do some 90 degree turns, uh, but nothing more than that. Um, the wing is so responsive. It's almost, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm questioning whether I'm ready for this much wing or not. And as you can see, uh, 90 degrees uh, is little to nothing and the you know the GoPros don't really do a whole lot of justice for it uh, right there we're getting over 90 degrees and then coming out into a into a turn bleeding off some of the energy the um, the dynamics of this wing is 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 way up there where I come from it's going to take some really getting used to uh, to make myself uh, stay with this wing. Um, but I want to do a few more flights before I decide that. Again, in this clip here, we're just kind of reaching out and getting a 90 degree turn, seeing where it goes, how it reacts, how it stabilizes after the turn. Uh, no surprises, just very dynamic in flying it. Uh, it's a very active flying wing. You, you've got to pretty much be on it to, to keep it going where you want to go. I mean, when all said and done, I was I was pretty. I'm not going to say terrified, but very cautious during the whole flight. Uh, here's a clip of the landing, uh, first landing with it. Uh, you expect them to be fast with these with this class of gliders, and uh, it, it, it was fat, uh, but it was also very controllable to see. Uh, as I come down, get to one to two foot mark, and I'm going to get it. Down. I literally have a one to you know, three, three or four step landing. Uh, and this was then almost the LP, and I'm going to say maybe it's 12 an hour, miles an hour. I did again. We're almost to the southwest here. So hopefully, we'll get to fly this thing a couple more times and uh, give a good test. 